building a wheelbarrow, and beating a sewing machine. Granny, did you and Grandad really fish up the North and South Islands? Which one did your grandfather say he pulled up? Granny was sifting flour into a bowl. North Island? You reckoned he pulled it up first, before I pulled up the South Island? Yeah. He knows very well that I pulled up the South Island first, and he pulled up the North Island afterwards. That man doesn't have an original idea in his head. Granny worked some butter into the flour with her fingertips. What did you use for bait? Some gravy beef left over from the stew we ate the night before. Your grandfather used a worm out of his smelly old compost heap. The flour had gone like breadcrumbs. I bet I know what you're making, I said. How much do you want to bet? Oh, Mum gave me fifty cents, but I spent it. On lollies? I was silent. Just as well. Your mother will give me what ho if she finds I've been encouraging you to bet. Granny shook her head. You can wash your hands and chop those dates in half for me. Mind you don't go cutting yourself. There might be a couple of spare pennies in my purse behind the clock on the mantelpiece. We could bet them against each other. Granny, did you use your false teeth for a hook? Granny was mixing in the chopped dates now, but she turned and stared at me. Grrr! She stuck her fingers into her mouth, pulled back her lips, and bared her teeth. I squawked and ran back down the garden. What did your grandmother say? Grandad asked. She reckoned she pulled up the South Island before you caught the North Island. And I asked her if she used her false teeth for a hook, and she went, grrr. She said you don't have an original idea in your head. Grandad, what happened to your old dinghy after you and Granny pulled up New Zealand? We just made it back to the beach before it swamped, and I had to build a new dinghy. Mm, but what happened to the old one? I needed a wheelbarrow to build the road from Auckland to Wellington, so some of the planks out of the old dinghy went into that. The anchor I melted down in the incinerator and made into the wheel. The oars I used to make the handles. What was left over I used to build our old dunny. Does Granny know that? Never told her. Grandad took his shovel and I ran back to the house. Did you know Grandad's wheelbarrows made out of his old dinghy? He melted down the anchor to make the wheels and made the oars into handles and what was left over he used to build your old dunny. Nonsense. Granny sprinkled flour on the bench and rolled out her mixture, thick with dates. He lost his old dinghy, gambling with that harem scarum friend of his, that wicked old Mr. Humdrum. What did they bet about? Who could catch the biggest snapper? Your grandfather caught one so big, he tried to pull it into the boat, and it pulled him over the side instead. That wicked old Humdrum grabbed your grandfather's feet, and the big snapper pulled him overboard too. They both grabbed hold of the dinghy, but the big snapper pulled it under. And the pair of them had to swim to Takapuna Beach from out in the Rangitoto Channel. Oh, it must have taken them a while. Not when you're being chased by a giant snapper with its mouth wide open and all its teeth showing. Granny opened her mouth and snapped her teeth at me. And that's how Grandad lost his old dinghy. Yep, but he likes to tell everyone he built his wheelbarrow out of it. I knew Granny was going to cut the flour and date the mixture into squares and put them on a baking tray. Oh boy, I said, and ran back down the garden. Just in time, Grandad handed me the bucket. Plant the sea potatoes in the furrows, with the shoots pointing up, and I'll come along behind and shovel the dirt in. Granny says it's not true. You built your wheelbarrow out of your old dinghy. She says you lost it in a bet with Mr. Humdrum. Your grandmother's the one who bets on everything. She gambled away our fortune on the Melbourne Cup, remember? She even lost her Singer sewing machine on a bet. Grandad was catching up, so I had to go faster, planting a spud with the shoots pointing up. Taking one step, planting another. Did she bet her sewing machine on the Melbourne Cup? She bet Mrs. Humdrum her good singer sewing machine that she could make a better fish story than mine. Your grandmother's never forgiven me for winning, but she was the one who bet away her old sewing machine. And whose fault is that? Yours, I said. Thought you'd say that, Grandad said. Filled in the last furrow. That's the spuds planted. What say we go and bet your grandmother a bob and she won't make us a cup of tea? And, I said, what say we bet her ten cents she won't give us a date scone, hot out of the oven? Grandad nodded. She'll fall for that, he said. I bet.